the F is concerned. Ah! America's newest sweetheart? Man, she likes cotton candy and puffy. Yeah, and getting in the bunghole. Wow. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot at that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh, and who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. We need to blend in ninja style. Follow my lead. Confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah, me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. I can hear someone. Stay close and play it cool. What do you want me to do? I'm at work. Just change his diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells like number two. He's your grandpa. That's what family do. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. Do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. How it going? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of bungalow dress? No, what's it bad? Come on. They should be just past this pool. You still owe me a drink. Here, you take the camera. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Security! A board! A board! This way! Come on! Go, go, go! Somebody stop those crummers! Get in! Get in! The show coming after us! Well, don't just sit there! Dumb that psycho slut! Damn! America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch! <laughs> yeah, I know! She's terrifying! It's perfect! I'll try to lose them! I was working on my quad! Great road coming up. This is your chance to get a good shot of her. Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk. You people are stuck. Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better. Whoa, whoa. What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dog. I'm taking a sharp right. Keep that camera on her. I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection. Hold on! Have you got her in shot? Yeah, fuck you too, man. You have no idea what I'm capable of! Is that camera even pointed at her? This crazy ass bitch! Stay on her! Ah, oh, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! No! Man, shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever. She's fine. Oh, wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, 
you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. Hey man! Tracy! Yo! Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll comp the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Oh. Fuck. Dead! Oh. Come here! Ah! Fuck, man. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just go kill him! This truck yours? Guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body going to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? She's a dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. I thought you wanted to get this motherfucker. Man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Where'd that slimy little white fucker go? It's this track here. Hey! He ain't one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. He left his car. Check it out. Little prick's up there. Look. Oh, shit. Coach doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! Hey, I think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's got to get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. 
On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, damn, you went already! Do it, damn! Fuck you, do it! I think that shit's coming down, man. Oh, hell yeah, homie. You know what time it is. Oh, fuck! Ha-ha! Fucking A! Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man. Fuck! Fuck him! And yeah, fuck his deck! Hey, homie. I think you put a little more than a deck down. Yeah, it's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Hey, what? Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Ah. Hey, man, it's a mean looking all fucking essay right behind you. Are you kidding me? Kid, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. All right, all right. Think about this. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Uh -huh. Thanks. I guess. Don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. We'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knots. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes, fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of mad. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld. What the fuck? Been bashing into Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking clans. Oh, shit. The few low-ranking clans. We sit on it, we see what happens. Yeah. There's no use second guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah. Doing something for a change. Yeah. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? Now, are you? You? 
I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Fuck me. Shit. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
fucking dick. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine. The next, the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but... That's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute. That's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Weasel News. A drug deal goes very wrong. Mexican gang Los Verios Aztecas, now active in the Alamo Sea region of San Andreas. A rally of sick patients to legalize medical cocaine turns violent. No! To 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 back behind kids. Something went very oh. wrong as a drug deal at a recycling plant in La Puerta turned yeah. into a violent shootout, leaving several yeah. gang members dead and police confused as to what has caused this recent upsurge in extreme gang. Have called for calm and 
responded by flying a lot of helicopters over poor neighborhoods all night long in a show of community spirit. Rural areas outside Los Santos are reporting a dramatic increase in gang violence in areas once thought immune to the scourge of organized crime. Reports say Latino street gang Los Ferreos Aztecas have been shifting operations to outside of the city, a trend that worries rural residents, many of whom are irrationally afraid of minorities anyway. Proposition 208 is on the ballots and has many asking why this wonder drug was outlawed in the first place. Patients in wheelchairs and guns in sports cars crowded a park in Los Santos to rally for the passage of a measure to legalize medical cocaine. Many say that those suffering depression and low ego are helped by the drug. However, things got out of hand at the rally here today as arguments broke out about things that are really, really interesting and fights broke out about the length of lines for the bathroom. Legendary recluse and Vinewood eccentric Peter Dreyfus is rumored to be doing the one thing he has studiously avoided for 30 years. He's about to direct another movie. Industry insiders are overjoyed at the news. Sheila Hall at the scene. I've just spoken to a movie exec. He didn't want me to record him or use his name, but I promise you, he was here. Anyway, he told me he was really excited about the prospect of Dreyfus working again, only he couldn't remember any of his movies. Then he said actually liking all films was counterproductive and small plastic toys, and that was more important. Back to you in the studio. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. You've taken narcissism, narcissism to a whole new level. Dad, please! Somebody help me! Ah! Oh, you screwed up my car! This crazy guy's smacking the shit out of his girlfriend. I don't know what to do. I think he's gonna kill her. Come on, quick! This way! She was screaming no, and he just kept hitting her! It's just over here! We got one! Go, go, get it! In there! Hey, you're fucking moving, you. you're dead! Give really? me the fuck! Ah! Ah! Got nowhere to go now! Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? 
Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is going to be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Why? for the 
the magic touch. One hundred percent guarantee. Hey. Hey. Ah. Oh, great. Ah, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are ah. maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a yeah. fully priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Ah. Won't run with the pop-ups up. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> and now we scan. Scanning. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should believe me, dude. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig fast. Ow! 
Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Let me get the door for you. Michael, hold on, hold on. Dome! That's dome, yeah! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call from my product team 
to introduce the device, but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you- huh. Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Motherfucker clean.
soul on them. Life's you looking fine, boy. Get over here and let me see you. Tanya, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. So where you parked? You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. That's our truck. You know the drill. Sooner we get started, sooner we go home. Dispatch, what you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker at the Lucky Plucker and Little Soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in David. Oh, hell! While giving a keynote speech to shareholders at the Vinewood Bowl, Mr. Norris was demonstrating the new Life Invader telephone when a bomb was triggered, killing him instantly. Police are unsure of the motives. Life Invader shares are down on the news. Notorious oh, shit. gang, the Lost, have taken up residence in the Alamo Sea and are now terrorizing the impoverished Denver community. Steve Pretoria is on the scene. For years, the Lost Motorcycle Gang were involved in a non-stop war with the Angels of Death, raging across several states. Then came 2008's bloody civil war that seemed to wipe them out. Now it appears they are back, and worse than ever. The gang is believed to be heavily involved in illegal crimes dealing and the manufacturer has been mentioned by the Christian Sound effect. The world's most exclusive courier service unveiled its U.S. operations yesterday. Meriwether announced their famed courier service is coming to these shores. The service transports... We're on, boo. Let's move it out. ...for museums, collectors, and individuals trying to avoid taxes. Come on. I was only parked there for a minute. Santos. I must. I swear to God, size fake ass niggas. My ass off and I'm forced like Scott. This ain't a job for me. Seven. Making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. 
JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. Franklin, you know I will. See you around. 